So what type of surface should you paint on as a beginner painter? In this video, I'm gonna go over three surfaces that you can try as a beginner painter, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to my studio. This is Paint with Lovejoy. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna talk about three different surfaces that you can paint on as a beginner painter, and a few of the things that I like and dislike about each one of them. So the first one that I'm gonna show you, and it's one of my favorites, is a canvas panel. These are really nice. They are nice and thin. They usually have the size written on the back and the manufacturer's stuff but on the front, they do have a really nice canvas texture. And for doing small studies or painting 16 by 20 and under, these work really, really well. And in a lot of my videos, you'll see me utilize the canvas panels quite a bit. Um, I also like them because I do paint quite a few samples. Uh, I can stack these and store these um, with a little bit more ease compared to some of the stretched canvases that I have. So again, canvas panels I like, really nice. Um, if you do wanna frame these, you can. These will fit in standard frames, so it makes it a little easier to hang it on the wall. And they're not too expensive. An eight by 10 like this should be under $2 for you at the art store. The next thing that you can look at, and this is a bit more of a traditional option for everybody, uh, this is what we call a stretched canvas. It has that nice kind of canvas texture, same as the panel but this canvas is actually wrapped around what we call stretcher bars. This is the frame on the back based on the size canvas that you have. And one of the cool things about this is because it already has this frame back there, if you paint something you really like and you give it as a gift, this makes it really easy for them to immediately hang it on their wall. So it does have a bit of a practical use. You don't have to add any hangers if you don't want to but the canvas, stretched canvas works really nice. They generally are about three quarters to sometimes up to two inches thick. Um, and when they are a little bit thicker in the two inch range, that's what we call a gallery wrapped canvas because it's gonna be nice and thick on that side. But as you're looking at these in the store, if you find a pack of canvas panels, go ahead and purchase those because they are really good for beginner painters. Um, and then that way it makes it nice that you can hang it on your wall. Another option, and you'll see me use this in some of my videos, is watercolor paper. Um, you're a little more limited with some of the things that you can do with the watercolor paper because it is paper and it doesn't have an extra support structure. They are kind of thin. But with watercolor paper, you can treat your acrylics a little bit more like water, a uh, little bit more like watercolors and water them down. And when I use these in my videos, you'll actually see that I tape the edges of the watercolor paper to a board to help give it a little bit more support. Um, and these are really nice because you can pick up a nice flat pad of this. There's about 30, pe uh, 30 pieces of watercolor paper in here and you can get a lot of practice and a lot of things done with a small amount of material. So. Uh, these you can also put in a standard frame with a mat or just a regular frame on there if you want to display it, but you would have to do something extra to be able to display these on the wall compared to your stretch canvas. So those are kind of the three uh, main surfaces that I think beginners should paint on. Again, watercolor paper, more traditional stretched canvas and then your canvas panels, which are really good for studies and small items. All right, so question of the day. Which of these three surfaces have you used and which one's your favorite? Why do you like it? Share those in the comments below. I like to see what everybody's using. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. Check out the other videos, uh, leave comments, let me know what you want me to produce in the future. And I look forward to creating with you as we move along with this YouTube channel. So happy creating.
that, check out some of the other videos. Check out the plane that's passing. We're gonna pick it up with question of the day.